Olivia, you won't let me go on that. <laughs> uh, you are talking about the candidates in Nisun. Uh, I think whether you are Nisun resident or uh, residents elsewhere, when candidates come, you are looking for two things. Generally, in every election, but specifically in this election, you're looking at first the national issues and second, specific to the GRC, what are your plans? So, on the national issues, you know, we have set out our manifesto. We have said the key issues are jobs. Number one issue is jobs because this, we are in a very serious situation. And let's not forget that. We are in the, right in the midst of it. We are going to face a recession. The world is possibly going to face the most serious recession it has faced in a very long time. I mean, we've said many times this is the greatest crisis since the Second World War. And uh, we haven't cleared COVID. So it's a health crisis and an economic crisis. And the two are linked. You don't control the virus. Your economy is not in control. I think it's, in, it's important that Every party sets out, not just, you know, some broad statements, but how, what are your plans to deal with that? And what are your, what are you putting forward? It's not just a question of some sound bites. Concrete plans, jobs, economy, the recession that is coming, people's lives, COVID crisis, how are you going to get out of it? Even if you're there to check, what are your alternative policies? I think that people need to ask, and I think many people have asked. I have looked at the manifesto of the candidates who are competing here, and I don't find any answers on these questions. Right? That's the first point at the national level. So there are no answers. So the question is, what are you running for parliament for? You've got to have a plan and a policy for people. Second, at the local level, Nisun. Again, we have set out what we have achieved in the last five years, what we have achieved before that, and what we seek to do in the next five years. In concrete terms, these developments, these are the things we will do. This is how we will handle the town. You can look forward to it. And we say, look at our track record. What we promised in 2015, we have delivered. It's a modern, vibrant town, and we are going to do much more, 15 more major projects. I then look at uh, the opposition candidates' uh, manifesto on specific to Nisun town. There is nothing there, as far as I can see. And I've heard what they have said both to residents who have asked questions and in public. It's very clear that they have no plans. And when asked, Mr. Boyer says, oh, we'll give more jobs as cleaners to Singaporeans in the town council. So those are his plans for Nisun. Well and good. But I personally think that Nisun residents deserve better than making your focal point. I will make more Singaporeans cleaners. If that's your only plan, let the residents judge. So that's, that's on that. And then I hear another candidate, or maybe more than one candidate, saying, oh, Nisun has uh, got their hardware. So they concede that point. It's got the hardware. It's got the development. Yes, it has developed. But it has got no soul. It's got no kampung spirit. I don't know how long they've spent here. But uh, they, I think they don't know the ground. This is a place with a lot of kampung spirit. If you look at the celebrations that are held, Chinese, Malay, Indian, if you look at the way the MPs have been working with the community to make sure that the original kampung spirit will be maintained, the way we help each other, the rental blocks and all the projects we have for the rental blocks, the Kyuyongya celebrations, the clans, the Chinese temples, the mosques, the Indian temples, the way they come together to do projects, the uh, Louis's Project Hope, where you know he gets toys, clothes, and other things to help the needy. 
all of us have similar projects. So the Nisun football and study program, you know, to say that uh, this place has no soul, or to divine suddenly that this place has no soul, and I don't see what concrete plans there are to infuse that soul if it is indeed absent. So we will see, you know, and um, you know, they, their plan is to give more cleaners jobs, okay, and they want to bring soul, uh, which they say. But two weeks ago they were saying, they were trading Nisun, suddenly they say there is no soul and they're going to bring back the soul. I think let the residents judge. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.